So for the past 22 years, the Trevor Lifeline has operated out of our call centers in Los Angeles and New York. When the spread of COVID was starting to um, emerge within the United States, and we were thinking about the Trevor Project and what areas of the organization were least elastic, um, we realized that the call centers and the Trevor Lifeline were gonna be the areas that needed the most effort. The first thing that we had to do was engineer a remote solution for our volunteers, very similar to what they experienced in the call center. Um, we worked with Traction On Demand in order to do that. The work that we do is about connection um, and making sure that young people feel connected and have somebody that they can turn to in, in challenging times. And it's really important for us to be able to support and create a sense of community with our counselors as well. I think something that's really critical for organizations who are, are moving into a remote environment is to make sure that they are doing it in a very user-centric way. Thinking about the things that work really well um, when you have kind of face-to-face -face contact and trying to emulate those. We want to increase the diversity of the volunteers in this program. And I think that actually recruiting people from across the country and allowing them to work remotely is an amazing opportunity to be able to do that. You know, disasters, unfortunately, but fortunately, bring people together. And a few weeks ago, we thought that this was going to be impossible, but everybody came together and we problem solved at a record pace if there are some lessons that we can learn from what made us work so well in such a short period of time i think that it could really um, you know improve what we're able to do in the future of the organization